I'm gonna show you the importance of oxygen for primitive reflexes developing. This child, when his oxygen saturation is low, and when I say low, it's in the low 90s, what you'll see is his primitive reflexes come back. So as we turn his head, his arms drop out, and then what happens is really cool. We put him on the EWAT, his oxygen saturation gets back up. Then we retest his primitive reflexes and his primitive reflexes are gone. And this is a really important concept because if we don't have oxygen to the brain or we don't have nutrients to the brain, no matter how much stimulation we do, we can't make a change to the brain and those reflexes are going to come back or their balance centers aren't going to develop or their eye tracking centers aren't going to develop. So getting a pulse ox and making sure that your kids oxygen saturation is where it should be is really important but then also what we did is we would work with him work with him and as his brain started to fatigue out and his oxygen started to drop we would put him on the EWOT we'd give him more oxygen but what happened over the week of intensive is by the last day of his intensive he barely needed any oxygen at all and he actually was starting to breathe much more efficiently he was breathing through his nose instead of his mouth he was able to have a deeper belly breath so he's getting a higher amount of oxygen while he was doing other activities so again oxygen is crazy important. Important. Make sure those oxygen levels are appropriate, especially if your kid isn't progressing in their development.